The first thing to know about Datafy is that from a user perspective, it can be used through two ways. The first one is uh, through a command line interface, a CLI, which looks very familiar to any modern CLI. Uh, and also through a user interface, which is a, a web application. The CLI is used to, to create, delete, uh, and observe anything that happens uh, inside Datafy, whereas the UI can be used to, to get more details, visualize logs, monitor metrics, and so on. Before I, I jump in uh, to the command line and the UI, I would like to introduce two important concepts of Datafy so that it will be easier to, to follow the rest of the presentation. The first concept is the concept of a Datafy project. A Datafy project is uh, where you can define your data product as code. And it's defined as mainly three things. Your code, which can be in your you know, favorite flavor. It could be Python, it could be Spark, PySpark, DBT, really anything you want as long as it's code. And as long as you can package it in a Docker file. So again, defined as code, you can write your Docker file explaining how to package your uh, data product so that it can be run locally and remotely in the same way. And then finally, your code will need to be executed and orchestrated, and we do that using Apache Airflow, uh, in which the way you orchestrate your code is through code again, um, in this case through a Python file where you can define your Airflow tag. And those are the three main components of a project, and we will interact with the project with simple commands like datafy project build and datafy project deploy to an environment. How do I get started to get a project? Well, for that, we have a, a command called datafy project new, which I, I will demo in a few seconds. But the idea is that we provide templates. And so we, we provide templates again for Python, PySpark, uh, DBT. And when you use such a, um, a template, it will ask you a few questions and it will bootstrap your code. So it will create um, a scaffold of your code where everything is already defined. So the components I just mentioned before, your Airflow DAG, your Docker file, and your uh, empty source code is already there. And you can then directly focus on the logic you want to implement and not on the infrastructure. So now we know how to create a project and I will show, uh, show it live in a moment. But what do we do with a project? Well, there comes the notion of environment. What an environment is, is a place to deploy your project. Typically, an environment might be development, staging, production, um, or anything like that. And an environment co corresponds to a dedicated Airflow instance to which you can deploy your project. So one project can be deployed to one or several environments. Each environment will run its own Airflow completely independent from the other environments. And under the hood, each task in the Airflow DAGs will be executed on a given Kubernetes cluster. And different environments can be mapped to different Kubernetes clusters so that teams, different teams could, for instance, work on different clusters to isolate the, the load. Now, with those concepts uh, in mind, I will show what it looks like in the, in the CLI and in the UI. Uh, 